Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be Vista Village. Come shot with me today. Now, first off, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Matt. Welcome to my channel. Please take a moment to subscribe if you're not already. If you like a Vista Village, come shot with me. I tend to do these once a month, um, but if not once a month, every two months at least. Um, so you'll definitely need to want to take a moment to subscribe. Um, click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified. I also do other come shop with me's like the other day I did a London designer outlet come shop with me which um, is on my channel. I'll leave that linked up above. Similar kind of premise of that video in terms of it's an outlet centre but not the same gravitas as Vista Village. Um, I do hauls and all kind of things. I've done a haul for my London designer outlet shopping um, video and also a haul will be coming from two days video so definitely take a moment to subscribe for those and we do come shopping with me from loads of different places from high street shops like Primark and Zara and H&M tend to do tend to my word tend to do those at least once a month and then other places and halls if I buy anything and all that kind of jazz but as I said today's video is going to be a come shop with me around Vista Village if you don't know what Vista Village is it's an outlet centre in the UK which has outlet shops and the um, they are designer in terms of most of the shops there are designer rather than London designer outlet when the like biggest brand they have there like in terms of designer stuff is like guess Tommy Hilfiger Calvin Klein whereas Calvin Klein and Tommy Hilfiger at Vista Village are considered more of the low-end brands because you have like Lueve, Lior Piana, Gucci, Dior, Burberry at Vista Village so we are going to have a look around to see what is new in Vista Village today. I went today, I've just come back um, in the last hour um, and it is Bank Holiday Monday today. So today they had, I think it was Members Week or something, so there was an extra 10% off most stores. Some stores are excluded from that, so the stuff, two of the things that I brought today were included in the 10% off and I'll be doing a haul in the next video so you'll definitely want to take a moment to subscribe for that but without further ado let's have a look around Vista Village today to see what's new in um so yeah let's go here we go into Vista from Ralph Lauren and I did go in Ralph Lauren but there was literally hundreds of sale assistants jumping on me so I didn't film anything um and here we go this is Samsonite is now down here which is where the de temporary Dior store was um I didn't go in Prada today but Prada is here and there was no queue for it um but it is about 10 past nine quarter past nine at this point um but we did go in Burberry today um and this is some of the offering that they had um again it was quite quiet in here so I had to be very discreet um but that was on sale on sale but I mean it was still £329 for that cardigan um I mean I know the prices I know why they've done it but the prices are never as good as they used to be in here um but, you know, everything's going up in price, isn't it? Um, this was just a plain white shirt. <laughs> Nothing, like, no special features to it or anything, but there we go. Um, and they had a lot of, obviously there's not going to be, well, there is new season stuff in here, but it's priced at no new season with no discounts um and they did have this burberry trench in the outlet but this was still over a thousand back in the day you used to be able to get a burberry brit trench in here for um 200 and something so yeah um i should have bought one then i didn't um a puffer jacket they've got in here um where you drop the thing it's always really difficult to find the prices on these things um and there's t-shirt here as well so yeah that is um, a few clips from Burberry um, and next this I didn't manage to go in here because there's a queue but this is the new updated Dior store as you can see it wraps around the side here's Gucci no queue to get in Gucci at the moment um, at this point this is like quarter past nine Twenty past nine. Stone Island is a store, a new store that um, I didn't go in last time, but is open now. Um, and this is the prices that you're looking at. So that was still one hundred and five for that T-shirt. Not much of a discount, like forty pound off. Um, but yeah, it's very. It's not a brand that I would normally gravitate towards. Um, in terms of a 
coat if you're looking for a stone island puffer jacket they do have them in here and the price is still 562 so still quite a lot but i don't know what they retail for normally it would have said on there but next we're going to go in coach now i do like these little bags but they are 200 um and 59 pounds still reduced from 450 and i do like them they're really good size i would quite like one of those actually but maybe a bit cheaper um in terms of this t-shirt which has just got the coach branding it was still it was um 50 nine pounds i believe and they did have a trench in here but i could not find the price on this um but it looked really nice very burberry-esque um but i couldn't find a price some wallets here now this little card holder was a really good deal at 29 pounds which i thought was really good i'm kind of regretting not picking that up but i don't need another card holder um because i've got a smithson one recently and that was a really nice fun colors um and then they've got like tote bags and stuff couldn't find a price on that and then they've got this really nice little little backpack little backpack bag that was quite nice galley is now open i didn't go in there i don't think they'll have a men's section but next we're going to tommy hilfiger um jumpers and stuff in here like 70 quid 70 to 90 for those um again with these quarter zips i would like a quarter zip oh no this was a polo shirt sorry um a long sleeve polo shirt i would like a quarter zip though from tommy or um ralph um shoes wise they've got quite a few trainers in here um 84 pounds not as good as the ralph Lauren ones i managed to get in here at christmas for 35 but they didn't have any of those in there um interestingly that red and white shirt i've actually got from a charity shop next paul smith um and you know the prices in here was not was not too bad to be fair they had a lot of polo shirts as you can see lots of nice colors of those um obviously my favorite color um like a nice gradient of those look at those really nice um and this jumper was very interesting lots of i say interesting it's just lots of different color stripes isn't it really um so yes long is that a long sleeve polo i think with a zip uh, next um i went into Ted baker see what they've got in there again this seems they don't do put they do some good discounts in here i have got stuff quite cheaply in here before um but yeah it's not super super discounted in this one um this is very interesting a nice jumper for winter um it looks quite thick knit um and then or oh, they've got this coat in here this was a nice pea coat um it was 100 and um 95 pounds still in the outlet so that's what you're looking at for like coats in ted baker and stuff and they've got some t-shirts here i think these were still i think it was like 35 i believe i got a t-shirt in here the other day for 19 really liked this bag um it was 79 um i have had a ted baker bag in the past but it did um it's still like going strong but the handle like went like the top handle a bit and this was at the end of the day dior store q went round the block so there we go so my camera was not in properly when i was filming the first bit of that but whatever um that was vista village today now i got there at nine like ten past nine maybe ish which it opens at nine and i would highly recommend if you can get there at nine get there as early as possible because the crowds are going to start coming in about from 10 10 30 onwards i mean the car park was not full full but pretty like i always pretty it was pretty full i always park and i highly recommend you do this if you're going to get there early park at um ralph lauren end um near the ballet but not in ballet unless you want to pay for ballet then go off but um i always park at ralph lauren end it's my favorite place to park because then you have got like a little exit that you can get out really quickly to make a swift getaway um and i always start at ralph lauren ralph lauren end i do like kind of now what i normally do is because i'm normally like filming come shop with me and stuff i normally go in burberry and then like round gucci and dior and then go right to the other end and kind of start working my way back kind of that way and then end up at ralph lauren ralph lauren to then go home there is a plane um that is what i kind of do and 
I would say if you want to go in the big designer shops, and when I talk about the big designers, I'm talking about the four big ones, Burberry, Dior, Gucci and Prada. If you want to go in those, you are going to have to get there early unless you want to queue or be in a digital queue. Um, and they close digital queues if they are too many, if there is too many people in them. So I got into Burberry today, no fuss, walked straight in, walked up, it wasn't very busy at all really, um, because I probably went, that was the first shop I went in and it was probably like quarter past nine. Um, and that was fine. Um, I probably then got to do, like I was going to go into Dior, Dior um, about 20 past nine and there was already a queue. Dior has recently redone their store at Vista Village and it is now bigger. I did not get to go into it today. What I should have done is probably gone there first and then gone to Burberry um, to then be able to get some clips in Dior because I would like to go into the new Dior store to see. Um, but we're gonna have to, next time I go, I'll have to look in there. Um, but yeah, it's not been open that long, this new one, probably two to three weeks. Um, so it would have been good to go in there and see what it's all about. Um, but yeah, in terms of Burberry, um, I did get some clips in there. None of the stuff is what they used to do. Like the prices of the stuff they used to do, you could used to get a shirt for like £49. Can't get that anymore. You're looking at like 149 probably for a shirt these days in there. Um, and I didn't end up going in Prada or Gucci because... Gucci always seems to have the same stuff. I've seen the same stuff in there year year after year, month after month. So I don't tend to go back in there to have a look. And same with Prada, really. Um, I have brought one stuff, one thing on Prada before, where that was a fragrance, um, which was Prada Luna Ross, which is like one of my favourites, and which is like my favourite winter scent, which I have brought in there a while ago. I would have done a haul. Um, I did go in lots of other stores. I went in Lululemon. Lululemon was a bit disappointing. Um because they have like their sale sale section but the best time to go to um lululemon is either in private sale or after christmas when i went after christmas this year um i managed to get loads of stuff so i would recommend that although i'm really set with all my lululemon stuff i don't really need anymore so i don't think i'm going to buy any more lululemon um i then went in uh, this is not any particular order but the actual third shop i went in was new balance um and if you watch my london designer outlet shopping vlog um you would have seen in new balance they had amazing sales um, I'm talking, I think the 550s, which is like, you know, that big chunky trainer um, that seemed to be quite popular about probably last year um, was £54 or something around that price. Whereas it was, they didn't have that same 50% off deal in the Vista shop, considering I went to London's Lime Outlet on Friday and I went to Vista Village on the Monday. So I don't know whether they're marking, not marking up stuff, but don't have the same discounts as some of the other designer outlets or outlet places. Um, which was disappointing. They didn't seem to have any of the sale on sale stuff that the other New Balance store in London Designer Outlet had. I would say the London Design Outlet New Balance store is big, uh, probably, I wouldn't say double the size, but at least a quarter of the size again. Um, so there's that. And the same with, um, I went in North Face as well. And I would say the North Face in London Designer Outlet is a bit bigger as well. In terms of, I went in Coach, they had a nice wallet in there. I didn't buy it, it was £29, that was on sale on sale. I say wallet, car holder. Um, the leather seems quite nice, that was, an, a leather, that was a leather piece and I think it was like bright orange. I didn't pick that up. Um, Vans had some of the same things that the um, London Designer Outlet Vans had and at the same prices. So they had a yellow t-shirt that I saw in Vans on the London Designer Outlet and it was £12 in um, Vista Village. Um, but other than that, I managed to go in Stone Island. Stone Island is not a brand that I normally have ever even looked at, um, but I wanted to show you what the prices were in there, so we saw some of that. Um, and All Saints, I didn't shoot, um, film anything, but All Saints had 30% off everything, um, apart from a few items that are new new season, because all the stores do new season stuff these days. Um, so, yeah, that's one to watch out with when you're going to Vista Village is when you see something in a store, it can be full price as well. So you need to take that into consideration. Some of the stuff they have, like new season stuff in some of the stores, even like Reese and places like that have that. Um, so yes, that is my trip 
to Bista. I did, as I said, pick up a few things. So if you want to see what I picked up, then you'll need to make sure you're subscribed and the next video will be the Bista Village Hall. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. It's free to do. Just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload. If you like, come shop with me like we've done today. As I said, I tend to do Bista Village if not every month, I do it every other month. So definitely take a moment to subscribe for that. And also hauls, other shop, come shop with me's and all that kind of thing. So yeah, hope you guys are all well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.